Hey everybody, Leonidas here, and today's video, counter spells. Counter spells can be a tricky thing in Commander, knowing how many to run, which ones to use, and when to cast them, and there's really not many videos on the subject, especially ones providing solid budget alternatives, so I'm here to explain all the intricacies to help you build and perfect your Commander decks. First, how many should you run? Well, after pouring over a few deck lists on EDH Rec, MTG Goldfish, and Tapped Out, along with some personal experience, I've decided on the magic number 4.5. Well, more 4 or 5, but you'll see what I mean here in a minute. With just 4 counter spells in your deck, you'd be expected to see one every roughly 25 cards, or you'd be expected to draw one in around 17 to 18 turns. Well, you're probably thinking 17 to 18 turns is way too long, and you'll certainly need it by then, right? Well. Yes, but actually, no. What I mean is you would have to draw 17 to 18 additional cards, which in blue is a lot more feasible. You should be saving your counter spells for one of two situations, and these two situations alone. Either A, one of your opponents is making that final stretch to win the game, or B, you're trying to protect your final stretch to win the game. Meaning that if your opponent goes for the win on turn 2, you would have only been expected to draw 7 or 8 additional cards to have found the counterspell, which, like I said, in blue should be fairly simple. Now, what counterspells to run? I found that counterspell can best be broken down into a few categories, with only a few important outliers, which I will touch on afterwards, and using one from each is the safest way to go. So what are the categories? Classic, Cheap, Free, and modal. I'll start with classic, since it's the easiest to explain. Classic is made up of your generic run of the mill counter spells and cancels, and spells that simply read counter target spell. Counter spell itself is the number one spell I would recommend in this category. While not the most powerful here, it is incredibly strong and surprisingly on budget. Card Kingdom has it as low as 190 at the time of this recording. Now, if you don't want to buy new cards just for this, I would recommend any cancel with upside you have access to, whether it be Wizard's Retort, Admiral's Orders, Sinister Sabotage, Dissolve, Dissipate, just something to get you a little extra value. Now, the best spell in this category is Mana Drain. It's a counter spell with massive upside, so if you don't care about cost, this is by far the best spell to fit in right here. The second category is Cheap. This includes all the relatively cheap spells, usually with a significant downside or upside for your opponent. The best spell in this category is Swan Song. Costing only one mana, the limitations on what can be countered and the bird they get out of it are important for the balance, but ultimately don't really matter if you just shut down their win con. This card can be on budget, currently costing around $7 on Card Kingdom, but can still be just a bit steep. If that's the case, I recommend Negate. It's simple, will only cost you 2 mana, and can shut down their win con. Not much more to say. Category 3 is free, which should be fairly self-explanatory. Everyone knows of the best spell in this one, Force of Will, but seeing as though the cheapest it sells for currently in Card Kingdom is over $100, it's a little out of range. Pact of Negation and Force of Negation are both good options as well, but coming in at $20 and $40 respectively, I can't recommend them as budget. Foil, however, is only 25 cents and is still a very powerful effect that is hard to get for as low a price tag. This fourth category here is modal, and sadly, much like the free spells, there aren't many options to choose between. It's close which one is the best between Cryptic Command and Mystic Confluence, about $30 and $6 respectively, but Cryptic Command is ever so slightly better. However, neither of these cards I would classify as budget, which is why I recommend Insidious Will. At just 79 cents, it can be an incredibly powerful tool in your arsenal. Now, the point of these modal spells is to be there if you need them to counter any win cons, but if the game goes long and you draw additional counter spells, you can use a modal spell to accrue some additional value you otherwise wouldn't have access to. Now, the outliers. The fifth, final, and optional category are stifles, or spells that counter abilities, such as stifle, which is a powerful option. Trickbind is slightly better with that bonus of split second. However, coming in at $4, it can be out of range of tight budgets. If you have the ability to play it, 
repudiate, replicate is powerful for only 49 cents. Or something like Disallow or the new M20 Tails End could be very powerful too. This slot is really only useful for countering big ETBs or cast effects like Avenger of Zendikar's ETP in a Prosh deck, or Prosh's cast trigger in a Prosh deck, or Food Chain Activation in a Prosh deck. Mainly, just run Stifles of Proshes in your meta, or Scion of the Year Dragon, or Door to Nothingness. I just want to take a bit of time here at the end for some shameless self-promotion. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell to become part of the hashtag notification squad. <coughs> oh, I feel disgusting now. Anyway, follow me on Twitter with the link below. Also, I know I haven't uploaded that much, but I've had some big things in the work between this, my commander cards you should be running but aren't series, and more, which may include another Minecraft parody. Stay tuned, and thank you for watching.